God is good. All the time. And all the time. And that is his nature. Welcome to Holy Spirit. Today is the 12th Sunday in Ordinary Time. The Mass intention today is for the people. Seeking peace and connection, join us for the Women's Day Retreat, a day of spiritual renewal and sisterhood. Next Saturday, June 29th, from 8 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. at Holy Spirit Hall. Connect with your faith and enjoy uplifting workshops and inspiring speakers. The cost is $30. Don't miss out. Register this weekend. There is a registration form at the back of the church or contact Virginia Aguilar to, se to secure your spot. Our youth will attend the Steubenville Youth Conference next week, God willing. Check the bulletin for summer youth ministry updates for all ages. Mark your calendar for biking at Green Valley, a pool party, and paint party at St. Edwards. Find more information on an open choir weekend and CYC leaders workshop or scholarship. The business manager will be out of the office June 24th through 28th. There will be no mass this Tuesday and Wednesday. Please stand and join in our opening song number 665, Save Us, O Lord. Save us, O Lord, carry us back, rouse your power and come. Rescue your people, show us your face, bring us back. O shepherd of Israel, hear us, return and we shall be saved. Arise, O Lord, hear our cry. O Lord, bring us back. Save us, O Lord, carry us back. Rouse your power and come. Rescue your people, show us your face. Let us worship in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. We welcome all those who join us today to worship. Uh, we see our brothers, the Boy Scouts from West Des Moines. We thank you for joining us at uh, the Eucharist today, and we also can see uh, some brothers in baseball uniform. We thank you for coming from, uh, for, for seeing the relationship between sports and faith and coming to worship at this time. Remember that we will be praying for you. And so friends, as we gather to worship as one family, let us acknowledge our sinfulness before God and before one another. And so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned 
in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God heavenly. King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us you take away the sins of the world receive our prayer you are seated at the right hand the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Job. The Lord addressed Job out of the storm and said, Who shut within doors the sea when it burst forth from the womb, when I made the clouds its garment and thick darkness its swaddling bands, when I set limits for it and fastened the bar of its door and said, Thus far shall you come, but no farther, and here shall your proud waves be stilled. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, give thanks to the Lord, his love is everlasting. Give thanks to the Lord, his love is everlasting. 
They who sailed the sea in ships, trading on the deep waters, these saw the works of the Lord and his wonders in the abyss. Give thanks to the Lord, his love is everlasting. His command raised up a storm wind, which tossed its waves on high. They mounted up to heaven, they sang, they sank to the depths, their hearts melted away in their plight. Give thanks to the Lord, his love is everlasting. They cried to the Lord in their distress. From their straits he rescued them. He hushed the storm to a gentle breeze, and the billows of the sea were stilled. Give thanks to the Lord, his love is everlasting. They rejoiced that they were calmed, and he brought them to their desired haven. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his kindness and his wondrous deeds to the children of men. Give thanks to the Lord, his love is everlasting. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the love of Christ impels us. Once we have come to the conviction that one died for all, therefore all have died. He indeed died for all, so that those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. Consequently, from now on, we regard no one according to the flesh. Even if we once knew Christ according to the flesh, Yet now we know him so no longer. So whoever is in Christ is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, new things have come. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. On that day, as evening drew on, Jesus said to his disciples, let us cross to the other side. Leaving the crowd, they took Jesus with them in the boat just as he was. And other boats were with him. A violent squall came up and waves were breaking over the boat so that it was already filling up. Jesus was in the stern, asleep on a cushion. They woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up, rebuked the wind, and said to the sea, Quiet, be still. The wind ceased, and there was great calm. Then he asked them, Why are you terrified? Do you not yet have faith? They were filled with great awe, and said to one another, Who then is this, whom even wind and sea obey? The Gospel of the Lord. God is good. All the time. And all the time, God is good. And that is His nature. Friends, our word of encouragement today is trust in the Lord. In all things, trust in the Lord. 
at all times, trust in the Lord. In every situation, in every circumstance, trust in the Lord. You know what? God has only one thing at heart. Our interest in our salvation. That is all. God doesn't need anything. After all, he made the world. He created the ocean, the seas. He made the sky, the earth that we live on, the planets. He made everything, the galaxies, whatever. He made the forests. He made the wild beasts. He made all the creatures that we have, those that give us joy. He made our parents and grandparents. He made our teachers, our doctors and nurses. He made our police officers. He made our military men and women. He made our firemen and women. He made our children, great-grandchildren and grandchildren. He made our priests. Above all, he sent us his son, Jesus, to die for us. St. Paul tells us that Jesus Christ died for all. If Jesus died for all, then he died for you also. And if Jesus died for you, will he allow you to perish? Will he abandon you to perish? Friends, our faith is a journey. And sometimes along this journey, we may experience some turbulence. Turbul turbulence of disease, of family troubles, Sometimes our faith will be shaken just as the faith of Job was shaken. Job lost everything in his life, although he was a good man. He lost his family. He lost his property, everything. And last of all, he suffered a dreadful disease that brought sores all over his body. All his friends abandoned him and he questioned his faith. Yet, during those storms, God spoke and assured Job of his overall providence, of his abiding providence. Job trusted God, and God restored Job's fortune. Can we also trust God in our turbulence? When things don't seem to work for us, when we offer our prayers and it seems as though God does not hear our prayers, can we still trust in the Lord? Friends, there are times that we may have to let the boat go. There are times that we may lose the ship. We cannot always put our trust in the ship, but we can trust in the Lord of the ship because when we cry out even in our desperation, when we call on Jesus, Jesus will rebuke the wind. Jesus will rebuke the sea because even the wind and the seas obey him. St. Paul had his own life, his own turbulence in life as a young man. He would not listen to anybody. He went about persecuting the Christians, persecuting the faith. Yet at the appropriate time, when God spoke, Paul listened. At the time, he was called Saul, and Saul became Paul. He became a new creation. Now he goes about preaching, calling all people to have a new kind of mindset, to judge people with a different kind of standard, the standard of Jesus Christ, because Christ has died for all. I do not know what kind of turbulence that you may be experiencing in your life. I do not know what kind of storms that you do encounter in your life, whether in your family, in your personal life. And of course, we all know the turbulence that our world is suffering today. Should we abandon the ship? We will trust in the Lord of the ship. Therefore, in every situation, let us trust, not in our strength, not in our power, 
but in the Lord of the ship. There is this simple prayer that I like praying a lot, and I would like to recommend that prayer to you, to pray it more often. And it is this, Jesus, I trust in you. In everything, can you just abandon yourself to the Lord? Can you give up your pride and your fears? Can you give up your doubt and just say, Jesus, I trust in you. Let him lead the way. Allow him to speak. Allow him to give the command. Because when he gives the command, even the wind and the seas obey him. He died for all. He died for you also. And he will never allow you to perish. God is good. And all the time, Friends, God, our loving Father, has spoken to us with his assuring love. We respond in faith with the Nicene Creed, page 9 of your Messalette, page 9, as we pray together. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, Born of the Father before all light. God from God, light from light, true God from true God. Begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified and our friends shall fight. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified. Who has spoken through the fathers? I believe in one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Friends, if in the wind and the sea obey the Son of God, with this in mind, we can pray confidently for our turbulent world that those who are set apart to preach, teach, or minister in the church will witness to Jesus Christ fearlessly and without compromise. We pray to the Lord. Lord that those who govern nations will protect human rights, further the work of justice, and advance the freedom of the suffering and vulnerable. We pray to the Lord. Lord that all people may have an increased reverence and awe for the gift of human life and seek to protect the most vulnerable, especially the unborn. We pray to the Lord. For safety and blessings upon all travelers, especially families, during these months of summer, leisure, and vacation, we pray to the Lord that those whose lives have been disrupted by natural disaster will find the strength and assistance they need to rebuild. We pray to the Lord. For our community of believers, calm our fears from things that often trouble us, strained relationships, financial distress, illness, and disturbing things going on in the world. May we trust in your care for us. We pray to the Lord. For all our deceased brothers and sisters, may they rest in eternal bliss. We pray to the Lord. In a moment of silence, place your personal intention before God. Father, in Christ, you make us a new creation. Favorably hear your children who seek your saving power through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
the ushers will now take up the collection for the support of our parish. Thank you for your continued generosity. Present our gifts to the Lord. Please join in singing number 534, Peace is Flowing Like a River. Peace is flowing like a river Flowing out of you and me Flowing out into the desert Setting all the captives of you and me, flowing out into the desert, setting all the captives free. of you and me, flowing out into the desert, setting all the captives free. brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that cleansed by its action we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Yes. 
who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created and rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing health. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and William our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 Beloved, at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, thus by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sons of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Our communion song is number 453, Only in God. Only in God is my soul at rest. In Him comes my salvation. He only is my rock, my strength, and my salvation. My Savior, I shall not be afraid at all. My stronghold, my Savior, I shall not be 
salvation. A second communion song, number 444, Only a Shadow. The love we have for you, O Lord, is only a shadow of your love for us. Only a shadow of your love for us, your deep abiding love. The bread we take and eat, O Lord, is your body broken and shared with us. Your body broken and shared with us. The gift of your great love. Our lives are in your hands. Our lives are in your hands. Our love for you will grow, O oh Lord. Your light in us will shine. Our own belief in you, O oh Lord, is only a shadow of your faith in us. Only a shadow of your faith in us, your deep and lasting faith. The dreams we share today, O oh Lord, are only a shadow of your dreams for us. Only a shadow of your dreams for us if we but follow you. Our lives are in your hands. Our lives are in your hands. Our Your light in us will shine. Community prayer for Eucharistic revitalization. O oh Jesus, my Lord and my God, I come to you this day to praise you and adore you, to thank you for all the graces you bestow on me in the divine sacrament of the Holy Open my eyes and heart fully to know you are truly present, body, blood, soul, and divinity, in the bread and wine offered in this mass. I believe, Lord. I love you, Lord. I offer my life to you in reparation for all those who do not know you, love you, or believe that you are here in our midst, today, tomorrow, and always. May the Eucharist ignite a fire of love and gratitude in our hearts, so that we may share your love with all. This I pray with all those who are in your presence with me. In your own name I pray. Amen. Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion 
may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. May the God of all consolation order your days in his peace and grant you the gifts of his blessing. Amen. May he free you always from every distress and confirm your hearts in his love. So that on this life's journey, you may be effective in good works, rich in the gifts of hope, faith, and charity, and may come happily to eternal life. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Let's go forth singing number 619, Rain Down. Rain down, rain down, rain down your love on your people. Rain down, rain down, rain down your love, God of life. Rain down. 